Hey everybody, Logan here. And today I'm bringing you, well, this video you could say is inspired by non-Switch games. Bet you're like, what? But I, it's, it's Switch, you said the video is, yeah, it is, it is, definitely. But we've seen a plethora of amazing racing games um, hit or are hitting other consoles. With Gran Turismo coming out, depending on when you're watching this, Gran Turismo might already be out for the PS5. We also have Forza Horizon uh, 5, which just came out for, uh, well, I guess in the grand scheme of things, for the Xbox Series S and X uh, and Xbox One. Just fantastic racing games all around, no matter what type of racing you're into. Um, Switch? Not so much in terms of the big the big guys. We're not going to include Mario Kart. Why? Because this uh, video, I guess you could say, is five racing games you must play on Switch if you like a more realistic style. Because they're not simulators, all of them, but uh, they're more realistic. Like, for example, in this video, we're not going to cover kart racers. I thought about it, but Nintendo has a plethora of kart, kart racers. Uh, of course... Mario Kart being the biggest, we also have some big ones coming out, like, well, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, the, the Booster uh, Course Pass. We have Chocobo GP and Disney Speedstorm all hitting all kart racers for the Switch, uh, Switch exclusives. But if you're looking for something more realistic, let's look, well, realistic, <laughs> let's look at these. One of these is well one slash two are very uh realistic in terms of the simulation style the other ones have more ris realistic style cars uh i decided to put together this list mainly because i uh, give gamers or switch gamers uh, an alternative if they do not own a playstation 5 or an xbox series console in order to play these good racing games there's still plenty of uh, great ones to play on your Switch, even if they're not as realistic. But, like I said, there's five. Let's get into them. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Red Bandana Gaming. So like I stated, I made a list of five, and we're going to go, not in any particular order, uh, I've played all of these so I can vouch for all of them, some more than others, but we're going to start with the first one being <laughs> Gas Guzzlers Extreme. I bet you're like, what? Gas Guzzlers? That's a, yeah, it's a car combat game in the sense of, let's say, Twisted Metal, but hey, if you want to call it like Mario Kart with power-ups, yeah, but it's more like Twisted Metal in terms of racing. Mm, and yeah, it's a, you can mix Mario Kart. But <laughs> the cars are more realistic. Uh, you can mod them, you can upgrade them, you can add new weapons, you can add... Oh, it's like a Mad Max kind of feel, but in a racing, uh, I guess, environment. Now they also have an interesting mode where you can go around and blow up zombies and stuff but i've only been playing personally the combat racing there's regular racing with no guns uh and combat as well i prefer the one that's got the combat so you can put on these massive guns and stuff and just it's it, it's a great time it's fun uh it runs extremely well on the switch there's multiple features and it's just it, it's just a fun game overall if you enjoy car combat if you enjoy upgrading your vehicles if you enjoy customizing your vehicles if you enjoy that post-apocalyptic kind of uh feel you're really really going to enjoy this game uh i i like it a lot i think it's really fun and it's definitely one of the games you should look into if you want something that's racing but also mixes that car combat in there. <laughs> next, next is a, uh, 
I didn't know how to do it because I didn't want to make them separate because they're technically two in the same, if that makes any sense. But it's Gear Club 1 and 2. If you've ever played the uh, Test Drive Unlimited games, it's very close to that. You have different... Now, well, l let me take this back. If the Test Drive Unlimited, um, with the new one coming out, I haven't said anything about a Switch version, but you have an open world where it's all one environment. The first one was set in Hawaii. Awesome game. I, I really enjoy it. So when Gear Club came out, from my understanding, Gear Club is made by some of the people who made the original uh, Test Drive Unlimited, but being on the Switch, they decided to take a slightly different uh, approach to it. But with that, they've allowed you to customize your own, not just races, but your cars and your garage. You can have these massive garages. I would say pick up two, just because it, it took what Gear Club 1 did and just expanded on it, made it even better. But Gear Club 1 is very, well, usually on sale and uh, inexpensive compared to 2 most of the time. You can also find them uh, physically, but they were GameStop exclusives. But if you did like the Test Drive Unlimited and you like realistic, real, real licensed vehicles, this is the game for you. It's the closest you're going to get to something like um, Forza Gran Turismo. For the switch and like i said they are exclusives so they're very good but they've been out for a little while i think gear club came out around two years ago and gear club was around four years ago i've been playing uh through them i know i played gear club when it came out gear club 2 i scratched the surface played for a few hours but there were a lot of other games i really got into what you can do with the garage that really for some reason was the biggest aspect even though i love the racing but it's definitely a series one or two. Pick either of them up. Go uh, take a look in the eShop or check your local game. Uh, actually, it would be check your local GameStop. <laughs> All right. The third one is an old one, but a good one. And that's Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise has one of the best racing soundtracks. The best selection of cars. They're not licensed but they look like a lot of real ones. You can get ones that look like uh, a Camaro or a DeLorean Camaro. But uh, you can get all kinds of cars that mimic or look very similar to real life uh, vehicles, which is really cool. But you have an open world on what's called Paradise Island and you can drive, you can crash, you can race, you can jump, you can stunt. It's really fun. You've got nitrous and you can just as you guys can see, if you haven't played it, it performs very well on the Switch. It originally came out uh, on the Xbox 360 and PS3. And it's, you know, it, it's been re-released on Xbox One and PS4 with remasters, and they remastered it uh, for the Switch as well. Yeah, it doesn't look as pretty as, say, the Xbox One version, but the game to be played on a portable hybrid console, to have that the size of an open world in the palm of your hand it's fantastic so if you haven't picked it up go ahead pick it up it's on sale quite often as of this recording it was not on sale but hey look for it it's anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks but i'm sure you can just keep an eye on get it for pretty cheap if you want to get it uh, physical as well the next one you can call it it's not a car racer. It's Hot Wheels Unleashed. Hot Wheels Unleashed, yes, I know it's not realistic, but it does have real cars, but in Hot Wheels form. If you guys have, uh, um, I guess, any kind of interest in cars, you definitely own Hot Wheels. I own tons of them. I have some in boxes in storage. I have some around uh, the room here. I have them in my, <laughs> in my bedroom. I have them in my game room. I have them in my living room. I have my Camaros. I have... Silverados. I have uh, all kinds of muscle cars as well, and I like playing as those cars in the game. Now, another cool thing is you can get cars that are based on like DC superheroes. My favorite is the one uh, are the ones based on Ninja Turtles. The ones based on Ninja Turtles. You got the turtle van, and you got a uh, a roadster looking one that is based on Raphael. Uh, sorry, uh, Leonardo. Woo! But there's all kinds of great licensed vehicles. Uh, licensed, uh, I guess, animated property vehicles. Uh, it, it's just a fun game. If you haven't played it, 
it's definitely worth a pickup if you like racing games. It takes you back to when you were a kid playing with your Hot Wheels in, uh, you know, in your bedroom, uh, in the living room, wherever. It's really fun. Definitely a great uh, gameplay. It feels fantastic, and you would you would benefit only benefit by picking up this game. I personally have it on PS5 and the Switch. Um, PlayStation 5 visually it looks better, yes, but the Switch again I can take it with me and just play it on the go, and that's one of the best things about it. So this will bring me to my last game. Oh, the best, the best. The best racing game on the Switch. I know it's over the top. It's nutty. It is just bright. What? That's Cruise and Blast. Cruise and Blast is such a fantastic game. It's uh, basically in the series of the Cruise and USA games. Yeah, that was originally done by Nintendo and published by Midway, but it is a Nintendo property. Now, this last one was done by Raw Thrills, and it was uh, put out in the arcades. I think I first played it at. Was it a Dave and Buster's or a Game Time or something like that? But when I played, I was like, "What? Cruising? Cruising? Cruising?" Okay, but it's a fantastic game. You can uh, unlock crazy vehicles, uh, awesome ones. I started out with my Camaro and then the Corvette, and then uh, there's all kinds of different ones d depending on what manufacturer you like. Now you can even unlock helicopters, alien spaceships dinosaurs and it's just the boosting and the uh, and the drifting it's just so awesome you can add all these upgrades to your car that just make them look nuts and it's such a fun game switch exclusive if you don't count the arcade but no one usually does because there aren't too many arcades around anymore but hey definitely definitely a must own if you're a racing fan and own a switch I think it's the best. It is my favorite out of everyone on this list. But don't get me wrong, I love every game on this list. It it was tough picking just five. But I went, all right, which were the games that were my favorites? Which were the games that I've put the most time into? Now, Gas Guzzlers is the most recent one I picked up. And one night I just started playing and I played it for two, almost three hours straight. And I'm like, oh my God, this is fantastic. This is a great game. So I knew it was going to have to go onto this list. But to be on a list with Cruise and Blast, Hot Wheels Paradise, uh, sorry, Hot Wheels Unleashed and Burnout Paradise, yeah, ooh, ooh. And then, like I said, if you're a, a, a die-hard sim racer, Gear Club 1 and 2 is definitely the way to go. So you've got plenty of choices here. Make sure, make sure you pick these up if you're a racing fan. They have to be in your collection. You can get them on the eShop or you can get them physically. But tell me what you guys think. Are there any other racing uh, gems that you think you know you should tell people about on the Switch? Drop it in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, yeah, definitely head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check out our Spring Shop link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great Red Bandana Gaming merchandise and it would really, really help us out. Again, like I always say, hit that subscribe button. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled you, fooled you. Okay, no. Like I always say, be legendary. Thanks again.